y'all it's me deja b back at it again with another video today i'm going to be talking about 10 steps to frizz free curls now before i get this video started i do want to set a disclaimer i am not a professional i've just done a little bit of research and i just pay attention to things that work for my hair okay so i do have a few products here um that i'm going to show you guys with my um, steps and so I'm gonna go ahead and start you guys off with my first step the first step that I feel like is very important to frizz curls is to you is to use a pH balancing shampoo now it is important to have your pH your hair pH balance not only because it helps fight bacteria and fungus but also because your hair being pH balanced can help with the elasticity of your hair it helps with um, moisture retention and sealing moisture into your hair so if your hair is at the correct pH then more than likely your hair is going to respond the correct way to products and things like that in addition to that if your hair accepts moisture and seals in moisture correctly then you won't have less frizz you'll also have less breakage these are two shampoos that I know for a fact are pH balanced. So the first one is the main choice, proceed with caution, slippery when wet shampoo. Um, this entire line from the main choice is tailored to um, pH balance, balancing the hair. I also have the Miche Cleansed Moisturizing and Cleansing Sulfate Free Shampoo. This has also been said by Miche um, that this is a pH balancing shampoo. Uh, also, I know of a company called Crea Botanicals. I haven't tried their products yet. I really do want to. I just haven't gotten to it. And I know for a fact that they list the pH of their um, products on on each product on their page. And um, I believe those are like 4.5 to 5.5 pH. And I believe that's that's a good that's a good pH for your hair. The next step to frizz free curls is apple cider vinegar rinses after you shampoo your hair I use the Bragg's raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar um I mean there are other raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar brands you know choose which one you want to choose whichever one you think is best for you um, but apple cider vinegar rinses is apple cider vinegar plus water you spray your scalp and your hair with that when your hair is cleansed and after your hair is cleansed and apple cider vinegar helps pH balance your hair. In addition to apple cider vinegar, you could always do the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Bentonite Clay Mask. You mix the two of these together. It not only helps cleanse and moisturize your hair of debris and all of the things that shampoos might not always get, but with the apple cider vinegar combined, it is balancing your pH as well. My next step to frizz free curls is knowing your hair porosity. I cannot stress this enough because this can literally make or break the health of your hair. If you are low porosity, you need to know how to tend to your hair that is low porosity. You need to know how to be able to get moisture into your hair. Otherwise, your hair is gonna be dry and will result in frizz and then break it. Because if your hair is frizzy and dry, it's just going to rub together and cause friction. If you are high porosity and you don't know how to properly moisturize and then seal that moisture into your hair because you can moisturize and if you don't use the proper products to seal that moisture in, that moisture can be gone in a day or two. So you need to know how to moisturize your hair and seal that moisture in, otherwise your hair is going to be dry. To follow that up, my next statement to frizz free curls is going to be if your hair is high porosity, even if it's low porosity, it might need this. Protein treatments. This is the protein treatment. It's a two-step treatment. You follow it up with the moisturizer so that you can make sure your hair is properly balanced. So I have a whole video on what protein treatments are. I'm not going to get into it. But definitely, if you are high porosity, you need protein to fill in the gaps in your hair. Otherwise, your hair will not be able to properly seal products. This can cause extra friction, breakage, and a whole lot of other stuff. It can affect the elasticity of your hair, a, a whole lot of things. So make sure your hair is getting enough protein, period. Sometimes protein deep conditioners just aren't enough. My sixth step to frizz free curls is to trim your ends and get rid of your single strand knots. 
Now I don't have the most fancy shears, but please make sure that you use shears to trim your end and not regular scissors. So I have these Oster shears. I'm planning on getting a better kind, but these have been doing the job for me for a little while now. So the reason why you wanna trim your ends is because split ends are just flying away. They're flying away from each other and you can't maintain a good style if your ends are split. Um, split ends equal frizz. In addition to that, if your ends are split, they are more likely to coil around the other pieces of your hair and cause breakage when you're trying to detangle and all of that good in the jazz. And if you have more breakage, then your hair is more likely to be frizzy because your hair will not be tamed. So my seventh tip to frizz-free curls is to assess the products that you are using to detangle your hair. I have recently, in the past year, started finger detangling more, and what that really allows you to do is be able to feel your hair. You can feel the knots in your hair, and then once you feel the knots in your hair, you can determine how to properly detangle those knots. If you are using a brush or a comb, not to say that that's bad, but if you're using a brush or your comb, you can't feel your hair. The brush is feeling your hair. It's not telling you, hey, your hair is knotty. I mean, You'll feel the knot when it snags, but if you finger detangle, you can get ahead of that problem because it will help with prohibiting unnecessary breakage. Now, if you don't know how to properly detangle your hair, let me know down below if you want me to do a video on that. I can do that. Um, otherwise, you can use a wide tooth comb. You can start out with a wide tooth comb. Um, there are other detangling brushes out there, but I really... I don't, I don't use them, so I cannot recommend them to be honest. My eighth step to frizz-free curls is to wear a satin bonnet, scarf, or sleep on a satin pillowcase when it is time for you to go to bed. Maybe even silk if you can afford it, if you wanna go that route. But, I mean, I've gotten these, hold on. I've gotten these satin bonnets from the company called Glow by Day. Um, this is an example of one of the ones I have. It is reversible, so you can wear whichever side you wanna wear. And it also has one of these, so if you have more hair, it expands and you can tighten it. If you have a smaller head or less hair or whatever, you can adjust it to your head. So this is like the perfect example of a good bonnet. I really really like this ever since I've started using it I can tell that my hair is less frizzy because there is less friction on my hair when I'm sleeping my ninth step is going to go back to step number three when it comes to knowing your porosity and knowing how to properly moisturize your hair so I have a few products for you guys that work really well for my hair and properly moisturize my hair so I'm just going to show them for you to you your high porosity these products may work well just the same for you so first i have the main choice peach black tea and vitamin fusion anti-shedding and intense volume therapy mask when i tell y'all this is the truth curls be popping after i use this okay hair curls be popping hair be soft this is like the perfect mask to use when you want a pop and wash and go like this really sets the tone okay so the next product i have is the Mish bounce curl defining cream you i didn't even need a leave-in for my hair to be moisturized and my curls to be popping okay then i have the kinky trusses coconut mango hair butter this will have your hair feeling like freaking milk it'll be so soft and so moisturized to follow that up i have the kinky tresses avocado infusion hair milk this is basically a leave-in i use it before i use the hair butter and it is bomb.com okay next i have the organic girl hair co mega man grow moisture milk this will have your hair soft moisturized and shiny okay if you are looking for some extra shine this is a good product next i have the main choice heavenly halo softening milk this is something that i use to 
refresh twist if I have mini twists in and I feel like my hair is getting a little dry then I'll use this if I want to put my hair in a high puff or something like this I'll use this to moisturize the front of my hair in addition to that I have the main choice tropical moringa sealing cream this smells so good and it is so moisturizing I also have the main choice ancient Egyptian cuticle control leave-in lotion this is not a thick leave-in but it is very moisturizing I have a video coming up showing me using this leave-in with another product and before I even put the other product in my hair was so moisturized and my curls were already popping last two products I have the Myel or Myel organics avocado moisturizing hair milk this is the truth as well. I use this as a leave-in. It is a really good base as a leave-in. Lastly, I have the Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. I really love this stuff. This is a very good moisturizer as well. I will use it to refresh my mini twists, like I said, or just to add some moisture to the front of my hair or, you know, to, to prep for like an updo or something like that. Those are products that properly moisturize my hair. Step number 10, don't manipulate your hair with dry hands. If you're trying to separate twists, apply oil to your hands that way it'll minimize the frizz because you won't be putting dry fingers on your hair and causing excess friction some styles don't really require a lot of water um to maintain them like you can do dry twist outs um it just depends on the look that you're achieving but if you're doing a wash and go i definitely recommend that you use a lot of water don't try to do a dry wash and go it won't come out the way a bomb wash and go should come out all right guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below let me know what you do to achieve frizz free curls if there are any steps that you feel like i was missing or you know anything that you feel like could be used to others feel free to comment that down in the section below give this video a thumbs up if you like it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel all right i'll see you guys later